We all know what happened that day on the Bloodstained North Bridge. But what happened across the colonies down into the territory of Spain? Castillo de San Marcos was occupied by the British during the American Revolution. The British soldiers wake up from their slumber awaiting another day. But little did they know that this day would open up a window to America. We walked out of bed and into the courtyard to gather. The courtyard was empty as we gathered. We all got to our stations. The best soldiers checked the cannons. But out of the corners of their eyes, they saw a ship carrying the French flag. The alliance of American and France was finally raining down on the British. The soldiers rushed to the guard towers. Yes, they were coming, and fully armed too. The general of our troops commanded the soldiers to stand guard and ready the cannons. The French docked on shore and fired their weapons, but the round metal spears couldn't penetrate the coquina walls. The soldiers ready the mortar, the most powerful weapon they had. The French could see the fort was well armed, so they tried to hide. The British now fired the most agile weapon made by the best silversmith. But by now, the French were storming the drawbridge. They were getting closer, but now the French would make for easier targets. The cannons overhead were ready to fire. They could tell a war would break out. The remaining French soldiers charged through the door. The view from the watchtower was not pretty. Boom. Boom. Shots were fired as the French took over. And then they felt it. The shot. Yes, they did not hear the shot, for it was too far away. But they all felt the courage and the honor of that single shot. It was the shot heard around the world. By the rude bridge that arched the flood, their flag to April's breeze unfurled. Here once the embattled farmer stood and fired the shot heard round the world, Ralph Waldo Emerson. <laughs>